Authors Ariel and Shia Kane came up with a certain program called Instantaneous Transformation. And in their book, they were describing something called WORMS. It's an acronym, W-O-R-M, which stands for Write Once, Read Many. And they're comparing our brains to computers and how there's this computer technology called WORMS, and it helps the computer retain memory. And they were saying that we do the same thing when we go through some sort of experience that is emotionally charged or stressful or emotionally damaging, we tend to create a worm. We uh, create a certain thought, a phrase comes into our mind, and that certain thought, that phrase is repeat, repeated throughout our entire life, especially when we think of that experience or if we go through a, something similar, we think that thought. So for example, let's say that you went through something humiliating or you made a mistake and you tell yourself that you're stupid or you're less than smart. And whenever you go through something similar throughout your life, you're telling yourself that same thing, even though you wrote it that one time when you went through that experience that first time. And I remember once I really started to practice the power of awareness and observing my own thoughts, I found out that I had those so-called worms and I would say really not so nice things about myself and it tends to be the same thing over and over again like I'm so stupid or um, uh, I'm such a piece of you know what or it's just really mean things and I would think of something that I did that was either a mistake or something humiliating and then I would say that to myself again and again and again and so I realized you can create so-called worms that are beneficial to help you accomplish goals and manifest desires. When you think of something that you did that was good, something that you accomplished, something that you were that you succeeded in, or some kind of adversity that you got through, think of that and then tell yourself something positive, like you're strong. Say, I'm strong, I'm smart, um, I actually can get through whatever comes my way. And you have actual proof in your life to back up that new belief and repeat it to yourself over and over again so that you can recreate those new worms. And then it becomes automatic. And then you start to go through something similar, some, some kind of similar experience where you're succeeding and you say, see, I am smart, see, I am successful, see, I can get through this, just like how I did before. And you just start to say those worms, those phrases over and over again and then you really start to create that vibrational frequency raise your emotional state and really get to the accomplished goals and manifest your desires and so the key really is to practice the power of awareness and really observe your thoughts and really see what you're saying to yourself and what you're thinking and at first you will still feel an emotional reaction but you can observe that also you observe the actual thoughts the worm the phrase that you say to yourself observe your reaction to it and notice how often you're saying it to yourself and once you start to really practice that awareness it won't have so much control over you anymore and then you can really start thinking of the good things that you've got that you've done in your life the good things about yourself and then create a little phrase a little worm and place that in your head and repeat it over and over again. The trick is to have actual experience, something that actually happened and then mix that with the actual phrase and then feel the reaction, feel your vibrational frequencies change and repetition, repeat it. Remember the successes, remember the good things that about you and about your life and then create a little phrase and repeat it over and over again and then you'll be able to uh, naturally uh, keep your frame of mind in a more positive state so you can always see those opportunities and seize them, accomplish goals. And they give examples of worms, of certain phrases uh, that are negative, that bring you down. Certain examples can be, um, I will never let that happen again, or I'll never be like them, or I can't trust men, or I can't trust women, I'm not attractive, I'm not creative, I'm stupid, I'm tired, I can't do it, money is hard to come by, I'm clumsy, um, I'm no good with my hands. It's endless, It's a, um, but I notice that it tends to be the same thing over and over again, and for me, before, I used to be, I'm, I'm such a piece of you-know-what, or I'm so stupid. And I observed myself saying this to myself. I'm like, who is this? Like, why am I treating myself like this? It's like this separate person trying to bring me down. And once I saw it in that way, I really start to see the light and see the truth of the situation and realize, you know what, I'm not so dumb. I'm not so stupid. Actually, I'm pretty smart. I remember when I got through this or when I did that or when I accomplished that. I'm actually pretty smart. I'm actually pretty um, intellectual or uh, whatever it may be. Or if I'm feeling, if I used to feel lonely or whatever it may be, and if I was telling myself nobody wanted me, and if I observed those thoughts, I was able to really see with clarity that it's not true and that I'm actually loved. And to really gear this technique towards manifesting a specific desire, if you wanted, let's say, more money, think of times when you have accomplished something similar and then create a certain phrase to say to yourself that you are money-wise, let's say, and have some sort of experience to back up that new belief. So try to find a way to uh, come up with a certain phrase, a certain worm, and some, some kind of similar experience that you already went through. So that way you can combine the two and really help you raise your vibrational frequency and align with your desire so you can manifest that specific desire.